Hi, this is Paul Neese with Vortex Optics. Today we're here to discuss Vortex's new long-range ballistic calculator. This program is really a tremendous tool for the serious long-range shooter. Not only will it build charts for bullet drop at long ranges, it will also allow you to see how various environmental conditions such as altitude, slopes, and temperatures will affect your ballistic curve. You'll also be able to compare the ballistics of various ammunition loads and then store multiple loads and range conditions for future use in a personal file within the program. Let's take a look. To get to the long range ballistic calculator just click on the LRBC icon. Here we have the login page of the LRBC. You'll need to register and create an account if you haven't been here before. Just enter your email address and make up a password. If you've been here before, just use the login at the top of the page. Now we're on the main input page of the LRBC. We're going to use this page to build a standard bullet drop chart by entering some basic information about the load and range conditions. In section one, we'll begin a new rifle and load entry by selecting new. If you've previously saved loads, just use the drop down to find them. When a rifle and load are saved, load data and sighting data are included in this. You can save multiple loads in the program. Do the same thing with the environmental conditions. Select New. When a new environmental condition is saved, it includes the Section 3 environmental data. Environmental conditions might include such things as a home rifle range or various hunting locations. And again, multiple locations can be saved in the program. For the moment, don't use the save load and save target buttons. You want to be sure that the load data, environmental data, and sighting data sections are all filled out as you desire. Now we'll move on to entering some information about the bullet and load being used in Section 2. There are two key things here, the bullet's ballistic coefficient, or BC, and the muzzle velocity of the load. BC is a number that describes how efficiently a bullet travels through the air. The higher the number, the more efficient the bullet is. BC numbers can be obtained through bullet manufacturers' websites, reloading manuals, or using the Bullet BC Lookup button. When this is opened, you can choose Manufacturer, Caliber, and Weight. Hit Add to Program when you're satisfied. This will populate BC and Weight fields. I'll quickly mention the G1 and G7 buttons. G1 and G7 are two different models for calculating a BC number. Use the G7 model if you have a highly aerodynamic type bullet, such as a hollow point bow tail design. If you're unsure about this, just use the default G1 model. This is the one used by most bullet manufacturers and databases. Now we'll enter an estimated muzzle velocity. Again, this can be obtained from ammunition manufacturers, websites, and reloading manuals. You can also measure this yourself if you have access to a chronograph. For the moment, we'll disregard the trajectory validation button. We'll come back to this later and use it to customize our drop chart for maximum long-range accuracy. In Section 3, we'll fill out the environmental data conditions for the drop chart we wish to generate. Fill in altitude, temperature, station pressure, humidity, and wind. Location altitude can be obtained from sources such as the USGS, Google Earth, or web-enabled cell phone applications. When you enter an altitude, the LRBC will automatically supply a standard pressure and temperature for that altitude. You can also override these if you'd like and manually input these numbers. The humidity 
is relatively unimportant but can be easily obtained from local weather stations or measured with an inexpensive tool called a hygrometer. For reference value, I usually like to enter a 10 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour wind coming from either 3 or 9 o'clock. You can use the handy wind tool for this. The next part is section 4, the sighting data fields. In scope height, measure the distance from the barrel bore line to the center of the scope tube. It's okay to use a ruler and measure to the nearest 1 8 inch. Enter your preferred zero range. This will usually be 100 or 200 yards. In zero height, you may choose a variance from your point of aim to the shot group center if you'd like. For example, some shooters prefer to sight in an inch and a half high at 100 yards for better long range performance. The incline field can be used to enter a slope into the drop calculations. You can use angle, cosine, or degrees here. This field can be used in the future to compare drops at different slope angles for a particular load. Uh, this is a very handy feature for guys that hunt in the mountains. The click value can be obtained from the turret cap of your rifle scope or custom measured by clicking the turret and observing reticle travel against a target of known dimension at 100 yards. Once all four sections are filled out to your satisfaction, you can use save load and save target buttons here if you'd like. Name these as you prefer. Here are some examples that I've used. You can now calculate a standard drop chart using either the calculate button in upper right hand corner or simply hit the drop chart tab. After the drop chart is generated, you'll be able to print it if you'd like. Here's an example of a printed drop chart. This could then be used for field reference and would also be the beginning step in the trajectory validation process. To achieve the highest possible degree of accuracy from the LRBC, we highly recommend using this trajectory validation feature. This feature is designed to input actual long range shooting data back into the LRBC which will then adjust the muzzle velocity number to a corrected true velocity. We do go through this range shooting procedure in detail in the range day trajectory validation video and in the detailed LRBC website instructions. Once this true velocity is calculated and entered back into the program, a new highly accurate customized drop chart can be generated and printed. To begin this, we click on the trajectory validation button. When the trajectory validation page is brought up, the load data, sighting data, and environmental data fields will all be populated from the original saved inputs that you have selected. You may need to change some of the data environmental data if conditions on your range day differed from your original entries. For example, if you originally estimated temperature would be 70 degrees, but it actually measured 55 degrees on your range day, you would change the 70 to a 55. In the downrange drop data field, fill in the data you obtained at your range day. Again, watch the LRBC range day videos for more details. Enter far range and total drop correction used at that range. For example, in the range day video, we shot at 550 yards and had a total drop correction of 13 and a quarter minutes of angle. After this data is entered, click on the calculate button on the bottom of the page. This will then generate a true velocity number. Usually this true velocity will be slightly different from the original estimated velocity that you input. This reflects the customization of the program. You then enter this customized true velocity back into the program by hitting the Add Value to Program button. For additional help and instructions, be sure to use the blue help arrows next to each section in the LRBC. Well, that's a quick snapshot of using Vortex's long-range ballistic calculator. For more details, 
Check out the detailed instructions on the LRBC in the Base Camp section at www.vortexoptics.com.